Welcome, or oh, welcome back, to 4F Beauty, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know, however, is that this is episode two, I think, of the AAK group collab with myself. Anne and Kaylee. Once again, we have a colour chosen. Once again, we are all using different palettes. And once again, it's a palette bingo. So, if you want to find out just exactly which palette I used, which shades I got, and how I created this current look, then my friends, you have the best seat in the house. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, rude, and enjoy. Because here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. I don't know yet if I'm doing the intro in black and white, if I did, welcome to Technicolor. If I didn't, hi. Um, my energy may be a tad low today, for which I apologise. I've had quite a few stressful days in a row, and that, combined with anxiety and pain, um, it's it's uh, it's it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Uh, this is the continuation, as you will have seen in the intro, of the AAK group, which is myself, Anne and Kaylee. We are doing blues this month, and we're all doing different palettes. I'm doing Certify Affinity 2, so obviously it's the top half of this palette that contains uh, the blues, and when I did a random number generator. I got Nawab, Hussein and Aftab on the top row. And then I got Ijaz and Akib on the third row. So these two either side. So uh, I got four mats and one shimmer. So that's not, not a bad ratio. So, I need to start putting some of this on my face. Now, as always, I always say this at the start of all my films, I'm a teaching channel. Um, I want everybody to be able to follow my tutorial, regardless of their skill level. And also, with my chronic pain, I can't blend as quickly as I used to. Uh, even more so today. However, YouTube has this wonderful thing called a speed widget. It's up there somewhere. Playback settings. Speed me up. I really don't mind. I won't even know unless you tell me. And even if you do tell me, I'm not going to mind. I have days when I've got so many films I need to catch up on, I have to watch them at 1.5 or 1.75. Otherwise, I never go through them all. So, there we have it. Let's get you zoomed in. Um, I'm going to talk you through two specific eye shapes, as I always do. So regular viewers, you can probably skip ahead until you see me pick up a brush with some colour on it. Because you will have all heard this before. A little bit closer, right? Whoa, a little bit of the bubbly. Right, <laughs> sorry, I've had that stuck in my brain ever since one of my mates told me about it. Whoa, a little bit of the bubbly. If you know, you know. Right, I have got deep set eyes, which I've recently heard to refer to as double lidded eyes. These are often mistaken as hooded lids because we get the same issues. We get transference of shimmer onto the upper lid. If we're cutting our crease, we can't just follow the socket, we have to come onto the upper lid. And when wearing glitters, even with glitter glue, we'll get a bare patch right through there. 
the two types of eyes are very different and the way that you follow a tutorial with that particular eye shape is also, sorry, very different. I have got an energetic drink, hopefully that will keep me going. So, when I relax my brows and look straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. So I haven't got hooded eyes. It's only if your upper lid completely covers, right down to your lash line, part or all of that mobile lid, that you have a full or a half hooded eye or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. Deep set eyes, if I cover the visible mobile lid and close my eye, you can see I've got as much space again tucks back away into that crease. And if I cover the visible static lid and do the same, you can see I've got an area of lid there that also folds back in. And it's those areas of lid rubbing against each other that gives us the same issues that people with hooded lids have. I'm really, really sorry. I, I don't normally film when I'm this tired, but this film has to be live on my channel tomorrow. So I really can't, I can't delay it. I have to film now. Uh, I will try and cut the yawns out um, as best I can. Sorry. So, if you have hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush, and just sketch out where you want your new crease to fall. Obviously, it will reduce the space between your new crease and your brow, so just use slightly smaller blending brushes, and you'll be absolutely fine. If you've got deep set eyes like myself, what we have to do when we're putting a colour through the crease is we have to stop, sit back, relax our brows and just check we've brought it up high enough so that it's visible all the way along. So you can see very different ways of tackling the different eye types. That's why it's really important to make sure you actually have your eye type correctly um, find basically. I'm just grabbing a few brushes. Now I've never used this palette with natural hair brushes so I might give that a bit of a go today. See how they perform the natural hair brush. Oh sorry and if they don't do well I will go back to using a synthetic brush on them. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be going in initially with the JS5, which is the Jeffrey Morphe. It's clean, it's just stained. And I'm going to start off by going into. think Narwab, which is the lightest of the blues. Uh, I'm just gonna, the reason that all I've got on my eyes at the moment is my Chrome Pebble Eyelid Primer. It's the best primer I've ever used. I recommend it to everybody. It doesn't go on sticky so you can blend on it straight away without having to set it which means you get absolutely great colour performance. Now I'm deliberately not putting much colour on the brush to start with because I'm not sure how deep I want this colour to be and that's the beauty of this Certify palette. Um, if you put just a little bit of colour on the brush you still get colour payoff but you have the option of having it a little bit softer which is kind of what I want for today. Um, I do circular movements, this direction coming away from the nose, and this direction coming back in again. A little bit of bounce there, kind of like the Viennese waltz of putting eyeshadow on basically, natural turns, reverse turns, and an occasional little fleckle in the middle. So, the two ladies collabing with me. The AAK group. Um, Anne I'd watched for a long time. 
but I'd never actually had the courage to ask her, did she want to collab with me? Right, I'm going to go into his Sane next. Sane brush, I'm not going to clean it because it's just a deeper shade of blue. Uh, a deeper shade of blue. Having a steps moment, I apologise profusely for any distress that may have caused anybody. Have a sip of your energy drink, Bomber. Try and wake yourself up a bit, girl. Yeah, um, I'd not had the courage to ask Anne, did she want to collab with me? Because, um, I'd asked a larger YouTuber that I'd watched for some time and that I'd commented on a lot of their videos and they'd liked the comments and some of them they'd replied back to. And then when I asked them would they like to collab, they were extremely rude. So it made me a little wary about approaching people, um, asking them if they wanted to collab. You can see all I'm doing here is I'm building this colour up, still leaving the lightest blue at the top. I'm just building the colour up on my lid, leaving sort of three, four mils here between the colour and my brow, just so I can make sure my brow highlight stands up. If you've got hooded lids and you've had to move your crease up, you may find you have to take your colour up to your brow. It's entirely up to you. It's also worth sitting back and just relaxing your brows and checking that you've got the same depth of colour and the same um, kind of shape both sides. Oh great! <sighs> when I'm filming I have a mixture of natural daylight and I've got LED strip lights which you can see reflected in my pupils behind the mirror, uh, behind the camera. Um, and the sun has just gone behind a cloud so I've just seen the lighting on my viewfinder changed quite considerably. I'm hoping the camera settings um, are such that you won't notice too much on the film, but if it does and it bugs you, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, and I'd... Anne commented on one of my films, one of my um, photo inspiration films, for the series that I'd started. And uh, she said, please don't ever stop doing these, I think they're great. And I said, as long as people want to collab with me, I'll continue doing them. Next thing I know, I get an inbox from her on Instagram, would you like to collab? I'm like, oh, yes, please, that's awesome. Uh, rude. Um, right, I'm going to go in with Akib. Is the next deepest blue. Still on the same brush. Look at that. So yeah, we started to collab in my photo inspiration series, which was awesome. And we've also been involved in a couple of other group collabs as well. Kaylee, I'd watched for a while. I think I initially discovered her through Anya, the Queen of Collabs. Um, and then she and I were in quite a few group collabs together. And she messaged me one day saying, Why have we never collabed together on our own? I'm like, I don't know. Do you want to? And she's like, Yes. Um, and and she, I call her my 24 hour buddy because uh, she and I, with her being ex military and with me having worked for a travel company when you always do itineraries in 24 hour clock. So there's absolutely clock, not cock. I realised how that sounded when I said it. Um, so there's absolutely no possible misconception about whether it's three in the morning or three in the afternoon. Um, and I know a lot of people don't, they really have to think when it comes to the 24 hour clock. With me it's, it's automatic, I mean you give me a time and I can instantly tell you what the 24 hour clock is for it, you know, six o'clock, 1800 hours. 3 o'clock, 1500 hours, 9 o'clock, 2100 hours, it, it's just automatic. And obviously with her having been in the military, she's the same. So I call her my 24-hour um, my clock buddy. Because she's about the only person I can talk 24-hour clock to that I know will get it 
instantly. Which is great. And then we get chatting in collabs and we start talking 24 hour clock and people are like, is that 3 o'clock in the morning or 3 in the afternoon? And we're like, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> This is the eye that I'm blind in. It got pulled around an awful lot at the ophthalmic hospital when I was a kid. So I've got super, super deep creasing here, which as you can see, the circling isn't actually working to remove the, uh, the tiger striping that I get. So I do have to pull out the lid ever so slightly um, just to, to get that to blend properly. Don't do that unless you absolutely have to. We will end up with deep set creases and I promise you, you ain't gonna like it. Okay, so I'm just sitting back and just checking that I've gone high enough. Oh, hang on, that's my phone. I'm sorry about that. I am back. Right, um, I've got genuinely no idea what I was saying. But, oh yes I had. Right, you can see that I've, I've brought it up high enough that you can actually see it over the um, crease line. Changing to my JS6 which is a, a more oval shaped rather than a round shape so I can I can target it more through the crease. And I'm going to go into Ejazz which is the deepest proper navy blue. And I'm going to pop that on this outside edge here. Take it about halfway along and just really gently buff that edge out because I still want to be able to see this mid blue here so I don't want to buff this too high and then I'm going to pop a little bit of that just on the outer edge of the eye like so. I'm really not worried about fallout because I do my base um, afterwards. I'm all about the bits, about the bits, not true. <clears throat> so again, take it about halfway along. And then just really gently blend. Literally just softening the edges. Not taking it up the eye at all. Just softening the edges of that blend and then popping a bit on the outer corner. And now I'm going to go in with this is a synthetic brush, this is a JS10, it's a smudger brush. But I love it for putting shimmers in my mobile lid. Never go into a pressed shadow with a wet brush. Always load the pigment onto the brush first. And then if you want to wet it with setting spray or moisturising spray like that Fix Plus, Mary Badescu or a priming spray or even just plain water. Um, you can do that but always 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 go in with a dry brush otherwise you end up um, hard panning your shadow and it will end up going all the way through the shadow and eventually will compromise the whole thing so I'm just popping this from the inner corner coming out Just blending it in. Oh, might have fun on camera, might it? Don't. So, from inner corner, right the way up. And just blend it in over there. I really like this look. I got very lucky with my numbers. Very lucky indeed. I'm cleaning the brush off mainly because I'm drying the brush. 
And I'm going back into the Aftab shade. Again, packing both sides. You don't need to wet certified shimmers to get them to look like this. The reason I do it is just to minimise fallout. Especially with this side, because with the deep creasing I do have to stretch the lid out. Otherwise the shimmer pigment ends up just loosely packing into that deep crease. And, uh, and then through the day, as I'm sort of moving my eye around, I end up with it cascading down my face. Which is not the best look in the world. You know, if I wanted shiny blue freckles for the look, I would add shiny blue freckles for the look. Is it bad that I'm now considering adding shiny blue freckles to the look? Okay, right. I'm going to pause you while I go off screen and uh, tidy up this fallout, put some foundation on and uh, you know base products like my blush and everything and I'll be back to finish this eye look off with you so uh, you're going to see me instantly I will see you very next time I press the record button I am back and I decided on ocean blue brows using the revolution pomade annoyingly I can't seem to find the coloured pomades on their site anymore I'm hoping they are just uh, changing the packaging of them because I really like their brow pomades and I wanted to get more of them. So, yeah. Right, going in with my lovely little flat top brush that we discussed earlier and going into Ejazz, which is the deepest colour that we put in here. I won't start singing steps, I won't start singing steps. And just run that along tight on the lower lash line. Now, Certify is one of the UK indie brands that I adore. Um, but I don't have a discount code with them. <laughs> I got a discount code for Blush Tribe, which is her sister. I don't have a discount code for Certify. However, do I still recommend their products? Hell yes, because I like the quality of them. Would I recommend them? Would I recommend a product that I had a uh, discount code for that wasn't good? No. Mainly because I'm a god awful liar and you'd see straight through me immediately. So, yeah. Um, this is the brush from the Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. My husband's favourite palette because it looks like wood. He doesn't care what the inside looks like, but the outside looks like wood. Which pleases him greatly. <sighs> yeah. Right. The reason I like this is because it's flat at the top, but it's chunky. So it's great for getting up under the lashes. And I'm going to go back in with Nawab which is the lightest blue that we went in with first off and I'm going to use that just to buff along and soften that lower lash line a little bit so yeah Anne is an amazing woman there's no way she's over 60 I refuse to believe that at all Kaylee is an ex service member in America she had to come out because of a back injury and oh boy do I know what that feels like um, I love both the girls to bits I really do um, I always said that you know if I ever won enough I would take a cruise because I don't like flying take a cruise to America and then hire a ruddy great big 19 is it the 54 caddies that had like the rocket shaped lights at the back but anyway I want a powder blue one of them and I would just basically do a road trip in America and there are certain people 
who I would absolutely have on my list of people I must visit and they are both on that list because I adore the both of them. So, there we go. Alright, palette, eyeshadow, uh, highlight. Let's go into my Jeffrey Platinum Ice. And I'm going to go in with Glacier, or Glacier, which is his icy blue white silver. I do have um, his blue one, but I want to use one that's a white base today. So I put that round the inner corner, bring it under the tear duct and just blend it in to the colours that I've run underneath my eye. What I might do in a minute is use um, a silver eyeliner. Um, I might put a silver eyeliner in. I haven't decided yet. I'll see how it looks when I'm nearly finished with the look. I may just put mascara on. I do have a mini tutorial for those of you who want to know how to put liner on. Um, in it I use a, pencil, uh, a liquid liner, but uh, the silver liner, if I do decide to use it, is one of the Suva Hydro Liners, where it's basically a cake of, uh, almost like pomade really. Um, and to use it you have to wet it. Uh, and then mix it up to like a little paste and then you can just apply it using a fine brush and you can see I've used this quite a few times already and I've not had it that long so I may or may not have uh, a silver eyeliner when you come back I will however have more of this Jeffrey highlight I love my face I will have mascara on, I will have a lipstick on, and I will have done something with my hair. So, you've made it this far, keep sipping on that drink, keep nibbling on that snack, and I'll see you right now with the finished look. Uh, there we go. I decided on the silver uh, eyeliner today, just to accent it a little bit, and I pulled out... This is the second lipstick I ever bought from Jeffree Star. The first one that I bought back in 2015 was I'm Royalty. The second one I bought was Blue Velvet. This is that lipstick from four years ago. I have always kept it capped tightly. I have always kept it in its box and I have always kept it out of direct sunlight and away from the extremes of heat. Because of that, it's only slightly thicker than it was in 2015. It still applies perfectly and it still wears perfectly. Look after them and they will look after you. So. This is my blue look for the AAK collab. I really hope you like it. Uh, now you've watched mine, of course I'm going to need you to go across and see Anne's film, and see Kaylee's film, and see exactly which palettes they're using, and what their eye look is like. So. If you are a member of my 4F family, please double check you're still subscribed. I am still having issues that every time I put a film up, I gain a few new subscribers and a few older ones get chopped off at the back of the pass. So that's extremely frustrating um, for me and I'm guessing it's going to be frustrating to you because if you subscribe to me, I'm guessing it's because you actually wanted to see my content. So please just double check that. If you're new here and you've come over from either Anne or Kaylee's channel, hi, hello, welcome. Normally I have a tad more energy uh, than I have today, but as I said at the start, it's been 
uh, it's been an emotionally and a physically draining few days and um, unfortunately when that happens uh, when you have arthritis and you have fibromyalgia and you have depression and you have sciatica when you get run down emotionally and physically that's my doll wait as I was saying unfortunately when you get run down like that all of your other issues take the opportunity to jump up and down and cause you as much pain and grief as possible. Uh, I do have a lot of other films that you can check out and see what my energy levels are usually like. Um, I really hope you'd like to join the 4F Beauty family. If you've made it this far through <laughs> Let's try that again. If you've made it this far through the film, I'm guessing you liked it just a little bit. So uh, it would be awesome if you would like to join the family and ring my bell, ring my bell. So fingers crossed you get told every time I upload a new film. Right. That's quite enough for me for so for today. <laughs> Clearly my brain needs to be unplugged and reset because it, it's not happy with me right now. So, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Go watch the girls.